Hey guys, what's going on? Gary Oak coming at you live once again, well, pre-recorded once again, with some more of Let's Play StarCraft Remastered. We last left off by beating the big push with a big mech push, and now let's watch the cinematic that concludes that mission and leads into Terran Mission 9, New Gettysburg. Oddly enough, the Confederate platform looked a hell of a lot bigger when we were uh, playing against it. I also always wondered what was up with that little satellite thing. It's like the multiplayer satellite from the uh, little space menu. warships descending upon Tarsonis. They seem to be heading on a direct course to the primary Zerg hive. If they engage the Zerg, the Confederates may escape. Commander, send Lieutenant Kerrigan with a strike force to engage the Protoss. Captain Raynor and General Duke will stay behind with the command ship. First you sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're gonna send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. <laughs> experiments with the Zerg that Manx came and saved you. But you don't owe him this. Hell, I saved your butt plenty of times. Jimmy, drop the knight in shiny armor routine. It suits you sometimes. Just not, not now. I don't need to be rescued. I know what I'm doing. The Protoss are coming to destroy the entire planet, not just the Zerg. I know that because, well, I just know it. I am a ghost, remember? Once we've dealt with the Protoss, we can do something about the Zerg. Arcturus will come around. I know he will. I hope you're right, darling. Good hunt. Lieutenant Kerrigan... So this is one mission that I kind of have a love-hate relationship with, simply because of the objective. I really hate that you can't just sit there and destroy the Zerg. You can't do anything to the Zerg. If you do, you automatically lose the game. Which is an issue. I also absolutely detest this base. I mean, who designed this? Look, look at this, and then look at this. It, it's awful. So, what we're gonna have to do here is relocate the command center over here, so we can mine efficiently. And the reason I want to get minerals first is because I want to have a more mineral-based composition. Because believe it or not, I don't intend to go mech for this first game. Or for this game, I should say. And a big reason for that is, while those who are versed in competitive Brood War know that you typically go mech against Protoss, because uh, Protoss higher tech units like the High Templar and the Reaver just shred Marines so that even with medics, Marines just don't do anything against Protoss. Because of how brittle the Marines are and with medics, yeah they heal really fast and you can make a lot of them for cheap, but... You can't heal through a one-shot, which is basically what Storm and Scarab Explosions are against Marines. 
But this Protoss opponent is only on um, very low tier, like tier 1, tier 1.5 tech. Meaning, aside from scouts, they pretty much only have gateway units. And that's all they're going to send against you. So, Marines are actually fairly decent, and I'm thinking of a mass Marine composition. Because I'm thinking doing that will, uh, it'll be a lot easier. And I don't have to put pressure on myself with gas, because you saw how much of a struggle it was to, um, build a sufficient economy to support a, uh, a mech composition on one and a half, two base. You really need, I think, three base to properly support mech, and I don't think any of the maps do that, but... The opponents are primitive enough that you're able to actually pull it off. So I'm just going to build some bunkers first. Just get some defense. I need to build marines anyway, and I can just keep it mineral heavy. What I can do is I can build another CC over here and get the comps out on there, and then at that point I can eventually lift this one off and expand later. Because you don't really need comsat. They don't send cloak units at you, so... It's not a huge deal that I don't have full comsat stations everywhere. What's really annoying is the in-game clock keeps disappearing. I try and set it. So, let's see if I can actually get it. Game... Game timer, there we go. It keeps going away. Every time I... Uh, exit the game... The setting just stops working. I I don't get it. It's I guess it's one of the SCR bugs. It's kind of weird that there's several bugs like this, where you know settings won't be saved or what have you. Nope, don't pick them up. What was that? Hmm. Oh. Just that. I see. That's fine. Additional supply depots required. Let's just get an academy. And a refinery. I am gonna want gas pretty soon now because I'm gonna be able to go up and or I don't even need another barracks yet. I'm still teching. Since the computer gives you so long to to build your units, I feel it's fine to be a bit greedy with how fast I tech up. Normally I'd have to delay these buildings for a while in, in order to be able to have enough production to hold off attacks, but in vanilla it's not that bad. Oh, no eBay for me. Oh, building this eBay is actually going to be really difficult. Got it. Alright, now we're cooking. Wait, what? That SCV just stopped. Is he like a Dragoon or something? Just randomly stopped mining? For no good reason? Okay, so all our bunkers are full. That's good. That is a good start. It'll be a little bit before I want to build uh, another barracks. The goal here is to just keep pumping units off one. Oh good, the SCV can actually fit out of there. I didn't fail my SimCity that badly. I am building depots a little bit quickly. I'm probably fine with SCVs. Yeah, I have a lot. You always want to build more workers. It's just a habit ingrained into me, even though I haven't even come close to playing competitively. It's just something that I always think of. You always have to build SCVs. Because generally you want to expand, right? So I'd want to take over half of these SCVs and send them to an expansion, even though I'm not expanding yet. At least right now this will let me afford to tech up a science facility. Because what I want to do is have my science facility and second engineering bay finish when this uh, 
plus one armor finishes after plus one attack. So I can continue to upgrade my units. Let's just build another command center. There we go. It'll be all efficient in the end. I may actually expand sooner rather than later. That might be a good idea. Alright, looks like we can be comfortable building a second barracks now. I'm a little ahead on supply depots, so I don't mind not building one for a while. I can send this SCV to mine gas and have three to fully saturate the geyser. So I'll be fine with that. I actually don't need a facility for a while, but I may as well build one. I'm not going to have any add-ons, so I can just lift this off when I'm done with it. It's efficient, right? Spending my gas. Even though I've cut my gas income by quite a bit by taking two SCVs off early. Alright, let's, uh, let's fix it and get some missile turrets. I think now's the time where I need to start worrying about mutilisks. So, we're almost at the point where we can build a... Actually, we can build a third barracks. We're going to want to add on more racks, I'd say. A lot more. There we go. Let's add some more. Yeah, I built this, the facility pretty early there. So let's just build this. Get our second eBay going. Keep building more barracks. Macro out of our current ones. Let's not miss marine timing. See, now we're spending our money again. That's where we want to be. Get stim. Uh, do we need any more turrets? Maybe? Maybe? I forget if Protoss sends scouts at you in this map. I know they can build them, but I'm not sure how often they actually decide to hit you with the scouts. Another reason I decided to go a more bio play with this game is, other than that I can and it's really easy to do, you just mass a lot of marines and tell them to attack. I figured it would be a little bit more flavorful than watching me go mech over and over and over. Since I fully intend to mech the last mission, like absolutely I'm going to mech on the last map. So I figured it would, this would provide a bit of uh, variety. I might have actually built too many barracks. We shall see. It'll be a bit before I have to upgrade anything again. Oh, right. I knew I was forgetting something. Of course I miss the Supply Depot. Why wouldn't I miss the Supply Depot? It's not a proper game of StarCraft until I've missed a Supply Depot. We'll just go with that. Need to start getting Marines away from my rally there. I'm hoping my theory will be correct that a uh, full, like a mass marine play will be good. I can actually build some fire bats. Fire bats are decent against zealots and they are a little bit more tanky than marines. So they can absorb some of the initial firepower going into a fight. And that way the more fragile marines will be untouched. There we go. Gotta keep those barracks lights flashing. See, I already have an excess of SP. Not enough 
What I'm gonna want to do though is expand pretty soon. I could probably lift off this command center. So we can just keep making more marines, more marines, more marines. I'm gonna want to expand and hold this bottom base here. Yeah, this is decent. What's annoying is you can't optimally saturate that area without, uh, if you want to have an add-on. It's just another oddity of this map that's really annoying. So let's just main earth some SCDs over there. See, I've got an entire, I've got like a dozen SCVs just sitting there. This is such a tease. You can't, you can't take the space. It, it's just minerals that you can't touch. All right, so 15 minutes in almost, and we finally meet our up with our first Protoss Zealot. It, it took them that long to decide to go. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna hit the Terran. Let's fix our little supply issue. Of course, I get bad SCV RNG. So I have to reissue the build command. Oh, right, and command centers take a long time to move. And the SCVs interrupt the landing sequence. The ride never ends, dude. The ride never ends. Oh, I got the queen. Because they like to send queens for some reason. So this should be fairly comfortable with what I can build here. I'll just keep this SCV building depots the whole time. I'll be able to actually move this command center back to the refinery later. Once these minerals get exhausted. Okay, yeah, so the Protoss are upgrading. It's good that I am. I'm getting my own upgrades. I don't know if I'll be able to afford another barracks or not. Probably not. Oh, definitely not. I'm gonna spend a ton of minerals, so it's fine if I have a bank. So I'm probably just gonna move in once I have like 10 control groups or some crazy shit like that. Yeah, this is a good 500 minerals that I have to spend. No! My, this poor SCV, he's stuck! Good thing the game gave me a free dropship. Don't worry, little SCV, I've got you. I've got you. Yes. You got it. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. There we go. And we've got pretty decent saturation on that base. I don't really know if there's anything else I can do here. In terms of expansions. I think I do want to smash that base up top, though. Yeah, see, fire bats are actually decent against zealots. Because, you know, you can actually kill them and do damage. They do suck really badly against dragoons, though. Like, really, really badly. Oh. Wouldn't you? Oh, I missed the depot. I'm not sure if those are units that are getting attacked or not. What I mean is I'm not sure if those Protoss units were intended to attack me. Job 
So we're nearly exhausting our mineral supply here. Can you believe that a lot of people, including myself, like to just build mass PCs on this map? That's the one highlight of this map, and that's one of the reasons why I actually enjoyed it a lot, is it's the first time I can actually build battle cruisers, and I always had fun building, you know, a science vessel and 11 battle cruisers and just running over the Protoss. Control 8 is also very, very hard to hit. Looks like we're going to have just enough minerals. And I got my little supply depot farm. It's nice. Nice, neat, orderly rows. You kind of have to do that for Terran. Um, one skill for Terran, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in previous videos, is actually just building your base. That sounds kind of insane, but it's true. Oh look, we're supply blocked again. So we've got nine control groups of marines and fire bats. Let's just, uh, go. And watch everything burn to the ground. Oh, uh, we should be fine there. Yeah, we're fine. They don't send anything at you anyway. Doesn't matter. It is no big deal. Like, I don't even need to watch what's going on, even though I'm attacking up a ramp pretty horribly. Oh, by the way, if you're just getting into this game from StarCraft 2, do not try and stutter step your marines. Uh, I'm not kidding, don't stutter step them. It's actually a DPS loss to stutter step your marines. A big DPS loss. I'm only stimming a few units at a time. You don't want to overstim your army without medics. I got what you gotta do, you just gotta pull your units like that. I always wonder how many units I've lost here. I'm just queuing a lot of units because I'm probably not going to come back to that for a little while. Now if I wanted I could always expand up there, but there is no real need. The Protoss have two bases, but it doesn't really matter. Oh wait, what? Why did no one tell me all my SCVs got killed? Well, that's embarrassing. The only way I can make up for this, though, is to just smash everything I have down here. I can't believe I just lost all my SCVs. That is pretty poor play. Let's remedy this, even though it's way too late. Yeah, see, I just have so much firepower, it doesn't matter. Zealots just don't matter at all. I guess since I'm not expanding too much, it's, like, at all anymore, it's not the end of the world that I lost all those, uh... All those workers. Normally this would be a complete disaster. A completely unmitigated disaster. But, since we have seven workers here, it doesn't matter that much that we lost pretty well everything in that last engagement. If you can call it an engagement, more like a slaughter. And the thing is, the Protoss, as with a, a lot of computer opponents in this game, they strip their, all their defenses from their other base to try and help out on this top base here. So I pretty much get to romp in here and kill everything. And yeah, that, as you might imagine, that completely crippled my production. Your forces are under attack. Which again is completely okay. I'll leave one Marine here. In case they send a sneaky probe to rebuild. 
an issue. Let's move. But it doesn't matter, like, see what I mean? You just build a ton of stuff and run them over with it. And they didn't have anything to punish me, and the Zerg had nothing either. One fun thing I can do, though, is actually kind of mess with the scripts on this map. Because if you played this map before, you know what happens when you kill all the Protoss. Bad stuff happens. Let's see if there's anything I can do to break immersion here. Okay, good. That's just their regular attack. I wanted to leave them alive for a while. Okay, yeah, that's just a bigger Zerg attack. And the big red army just trickles back up north. So if you've seen the StarCraft II cinematic, you'll know exactly what happens. Naturally. And this is the place it happens, which is kind of weird, because the cinematic takes place on the surface of Tarsonis, and we are in space. I never really understood that. Space is under oh, your first encounter with an Ultralisk. I do like that they make your Kerrigan invincible. Alright, so, here comes a massive Zerg. It doesn't even matter that not everything is participating in this fight. Here we go, boys. We do? No, it's, it's okay, we got this. It's fine. It's it's okay. Don't do this. They're not doing anything. Come on. Signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander? Jim? What the hell is going on up there? Oh, okay. So, um Yeah, that attack did absolutely nothing. Just they just ran into 3-3 three, three Marines and got completely shredded. So, there's your immersion breaking. It's okay, Kerrigan's fine, Brood War doesn't have to happen. Don't worry about StarCraft 2. Amon's just gonna come and kill everyone if you still prescribe to the StarCraft 2 lore. Whether or not you like it, it it's okay. We, we, we broke canon. So, um... Yeah, with that, that's the penultimate mission of the Terran campaign done, and... When we come back next time, we're going to be dealing with the final level of the Terran campaign, and it's a level a lot of people have trouble with. And if you get stuck on a map it's pro in the campaign, this will probably be the first map you really run up against a wall with. So we'll see how I handle it after many, many years of rust. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.